Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today in this math lesson, by the end of this math lesson, I want to be able to recognize the 10 to 1 relationship among place value positions. Now we all know what place value positions are, your 1s, 10s, 100s, and so on. We might not know what recognize means. Recognize really means just to know. When you recognize something, you know it. You've seen it before, you can recognize it next time. A relationship in this sentence means a pattern. So, what does that mean? So, we want to know the 10 to 1 pattern in place value positions. We want to be able to see that, know it, and be able to recognize it. We're able to see it again and again and again. I'm going to show you a couple of ways that we see that. In the pattern blocks, the, uh, we use an easy way of looking at it. We have your small, which is your ones. We have, that's the small cubes. Then we have the long ones, which is your tens. The flat ones, which are your hundreds. And then we have that large cube, which is your uh, thousands. So, some questions we got to ask. How many small cubes does it take to make a long one? How many small cubes does it take to make a long one? So if I have one long one, one long one is equal to 10 small ones. One long one is equal to 10 small ones. Here's that relationship. 1, 2, 10. So if I move this way, times 10. 1 times 10 equals the long one, or 10. Let's try this again. How many flats, I'm sorry, how many longs does it take to make a flat? How many of the long ones? 10 times the long one will give you one flat one. And here again, one flat one equals 10 long ones. And the same holds true for how many flats does it take to make a large cube. So we have one large cube equals 10 flats. Same relationship, if I wanted to get from the hundreds to the thousands, times 10. Now, another thing is, we can go the other way too. So, if I wanted to go this way, what part of a large cube, what part of this large cube is this small cube? I mean, this flat. The flat is there's 10 flats in that large one, 10 of them, but the flat is only one. So we have that fraction of one-tenth. The flat is one-tenth of the large cube. Same thing holds true for the long is one-tenth of the flat, and the small cube is one-tenth of the long. So if we move from right to left, it's times 10, times 10. If we move from left to right, it's one tenth, one tenth. Let's look at this example here. How we can use this place value to help us find the answer to some numbers. So let's say I have 3,000. What number is 10 times that? What number is 10 times that? 10 times 3,000 is 30,000. You see it here. 3,000 times 10. And we know that if we times 10, all we have to do is add another zero. So we have four zeros, we'll do five. One, one, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, we have three zeros. We'll make it four. 
And if we want to know what one-tenth of it, one-tenth of that is, we go in the opposite direction. So, if we have 3,000, and we want to know what one-tenth of 3,000 is, one-tenth of 3,000, we take away a zero. So, one-tenth of 3,000 is 300. Ten times is 30,000. Let's look at 400. 400 times 10, we move over one, is 4,000. We wonder what one-tenth of 400 is, we move backwards. Let's try one more number. We will try, let's say, 50. Can you guess what 10 times 50 would be? You're right. 500. And guess what one-tenth? One-tenth of 50 is. We go in the other direction. Five. So, what we want to know at the end of this lesson is, what is that 10 to 1 relationship? And I guess we can say something like this. In place value, if you move one value, one place value to the left will be times 10. One place value to the right will be 1 tenth. I want you to do a standards practice book and We'll see you on next lesson.